Hello, people. This is not magic. It's science. Today, we are going to show you three different ways. Okay. Today, we are going to show you about magnets. And we're going to show you three things about magnets. First, we have this, these two, and this. What are those round things? They are magnets. The blue side is the north side, and the red side is the south side. Is there another word for them instead of sides? North pole and south pole. There you go. Now, once, when I put the north pole and the south pole together, this happens. Fold it like this at the bottom, like that. This happens. Okay, what does that mean? It means, it means opposites are coming together. Okay, so the magnets are attracting. So the magnets are attracting. Okay. What happens if you flip them around? Once when you flip them around, this happens. See? So you have two north poles. Two north poles do not go together. Okay, so they, what do you call it when the magnets push apart like that? Because we calculating. Um, Starts with an R. We repelling. Oh, we repelling. I keep on forgetting about that. We repelling. So they're pushing away. We try to push them together, and they Better. push away because they are repelling. Repelling. Okay. All right. So you've told them how magnets work. Why don't you show them how? A magnet, a magnet's force can go through an object. All right. Next, we're going to show you how a magnet's force can go through an object, like this card and this. All right. Force. Hold on. This will probably just take a few seconds. Show them the north and south poles. This is the south pole, and this is the north pole. Okay, now I'm going to put it in the cart. I'm going to put it in the cart. With the north pole down. With the north pole down. Now what do you do with that man? <laughs> you see? They are attracting. Very good. And this, what, what are the, what's the car, what's the car repelling. doing now? Repelling. It's repelling, very good. It's like trying to run away. Very good. And that's, now you're not touching with the magnet, that's the magnet's force, the magnetic force is moving it, isn't it? Yeah, oops. Right now, what happens if you put it underneath it, can you control it, from, can you control it through the table? Yes, yes I can. So now the magnets are attracting through the tray table, right? Yes. What happens if you flip the magnet over, the one underneath the table? What's yeah. happening now? Well, 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 what's happening right now is that the the south, the, the north poles are repelling. Good. That's why the car's running away from you. Yeah. Sounds like a sin. Alright. Get over here. Ah. And now, once you flip it over, and then you can control it better. Flip your wand over. And now you can drag it wherever you want to. Alright, let's show the kids it at home how forces can combine. Okay, let's see how forces can combine now. Set your magnet down. This is a paper clip. Watch. Why did the paper clip fall? Okay, why did the paper clip fall? Gravity. Because gravity can make objects fall. 
gravity is a force that pulls things down, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Right. Is there another way you can pick up that paper clip without using your hand? Okay, like this. This is the north side, this is the south side. North pole and south pole. Watch. With hands. Okay. Look at this. Right, hold it. Oh. Oops. Okay. Look at this. Yeah. Hold it just like that. Look closely. Notice that the paper clip isn't touching the magnet. Notice the paper clip isn't touching the magnet. I'll help you a little bit. Right. Oops. Okay. There's actually space between the paper clip and the magnet. In fact, we can probably stick this piece of plastic. Well, if we stick this piece of plastic in it, will the magnetic force be enough to hold it? Look at that. Yeah. We can put a piece of plastic between it's, the magnet and the paper clip. And it still works. And, and it doesn't fall. This is because the forces have combined. Okay. Right now we have a force of we have the magnetic force that pulls the paper clip up. What force is trying to pull the paper clip back to the table, Royal? Gravity. Okay. So now the forces are balanced. The paper clip, when the paper clip doesn't fall, it just sits there like this. The forces are balanced. Yep. But when, as soon as they become unbalanced, the paper clip falls like it just did. We we'll pull it apart and look at that. We have our space again. We have an equal amount of magnetic force and an equal amount of gravity allowing it to stay suspended in air. Okay, now I'm going to let you go so you can show everybody. You can move it from one side to the other. Ta da! Now it also works for the other side. Hold on. Oh, but if you, if you pull it too far, gravity takes over and the forces are not balanced. You gotta move it just a little bit so the forces can be balanced. There you go. See? Oh, it's gonna fall. Oh, there you go. Oh, now you got more magnetic force. But when you have it, when you pull it away, gravity can take over. But to balance the forces, there you go. Oops. That did not just happen. Yeah, we could tie it up. Okay, and we're tying this back real up real quick, so that so um that's what happened so far. I'm still using your side. So um So what did what did we just show them? We were showing them how forces can combine combine to work together. And when forces are working together equally, they are said to be balanced. And show them one more time. Alright, here's one more time. Just so you can see it. And now the forces are balanced. The paper clip the is being pulled by gravity and the, pa the paper clip is being pulled by gravity and, and the, the magnet. And the magnet. And when you hold it just right, the paper clip will suspend in midair without falling. Like so. Like that. And then you can move it Let's like see. this. Until And it's not magic. It's so, science! Look at that. We can all even get it to spin around. Spin in a circle. This is all we have for today, so see you next time on It's Not Magic, It's Science! Bye.